in the course of design principles of concrete structures lecture 7 capacity analysis and rebar guidelines rebar mean reinforcement guidelines here capacity analysis of singly reinforced rectangular beam by strength design method mean by ultimate strength design method singly reinforced here you can see in the cross section the uh, reinforcement bars are present at the bottom and no bars are provided at the top okay maybe hanger for ties are present but the main bars are the longitudinal bars that are present at the bottom so if in a cross section only main bars are the uh, bottom bars then this type of section is called singly reinforced beam in singly reinforced beam uh, at the top concrete provide the compressive force and at the bottom steel provide the tensile force if the compressive force is weak then we enhance its capacity by providing the steel bars at the top of the concrete section also by doing so we enhance the uh, compressive capacity of the concrete and uh, in in that region by concrete and steel at uh, top of the section of the concrete so in that type of section is called doubly reinforced beam okay in singly only one type of bars that are acting in the force mechanism in the doubly both bars mean bottom and top bars are acting uh, in, provi in providing the internal resistance to the beam okay for doubly beam i will uh, uh, discuss in detail in in coming lectures so now for singly reinforced beam for the analysis of beam capacity analysis of beam this data will be given dimensions mean width height effective depth span of the beam fc prime concrete compressive strength fy steel uh, yield strength EC, ES, modulus of elasticity of concrete, modulus of elasticity of steel. AS, area of steel. Area of steel will also be given. We have to calculate the capacity. I mean, how much movement this type of beam can take. Okay. This is, uh, these are the requirements. Means after uh, inputting the data, uh, we have to calculate the movement capacity or the load carrying capacity. So these are the basic steps for the capacity analysis. Okay, first step, calculate the depth of neutral axis assuming this section as under reinforced. When we are going to design any beam, then we don't know either uh, it's a uh, under reinforced beam or over reinforced beam. So before uh, uh, starting the analysis, we assume that the current section is under reinforced. So we are assuming that the current section is under reinforced means uh, steel will yield and its strain will be equal or greater than yield strain. Okay, we will use this formula to calculate the Whitney's equivalent stress block diagram here, uh, Whitney's equivalent depth A, AS FY 0.85 FC prime B. Okay, you can also see these all data will be given FC prime, FY, okay, width of the beam, okay area of steel will also be given then we will calculate a after uh, calculating a uh, we will calculate c okay we already know a is equal to beta 1 c okay then in the second step we will calculate the strain in steel and check the assumption of step one when uh, it means that we have assumed that the section is under reinforced we will calculate the strain in steel okay now we have c and also d if our strain if our strain in steel is greater or equal to yield strain then our assumption is correct second uh, then we will simply go for uh, capacity uh, beam moment capacity calculation using under reinforced uh, method if our strain in steel is less than or equal to yield then the section is over reinforced so a is to be calculated again by the formula of our reinforced section here a is this formula a is present on both side after uh, simplification you will get the quadratic equation after the quadratic equation you will get the e okay that is for the over reinforced method in step 3 decide phi factor 
For tension control section, you will select 5.0.9. For compression control section, you will select 0.65. And if your strain value is in between the yield uh, strain and the uh, 0 0.005, then you will interpolate the value of 5 for transition section. Here, final step, calculate capacity, moment capacity, 5 bmn. If that is a tension control, you will calculate ASFY because steel will yield D minus A by 2. And if it is a over in four section, then you will calculate 5B 0. Uh, CC 0, uh, 0 0.85 FC prime BA into D minus A by 2. The only difference is in under enforced, you will calculate A by using this formula. For over enforced, you will calculate by using this formula. Now this is the uh, second alternative method. Uh, for capacity analysis for singly reinforced beam okay step one to step three are for deciding whether this section is over reinforced or under reinforced alternatively it can be done in the following member following manner first step is calculate rho means area of steel divided by bd reinforcement ratio and also calculate rho max if rho uh, reinforcement ratio is less than rho max then section is under reinforced the second way calculate d minimum minimum depth effective depth if your provided depth is greater than d minimum then your, sex, uh, your section is uh, uh, tension control under reinforced selection of steel bars uh, for beams these are basic uh, these are basic and also code guidelines you must have to follow for providing the steel bars in beams when different diameters are selected the maximum difference can be of a gap of one size means uh, here here are the uh, bar sizes si bar sizes 10 millimeter 13 millimeter 16 millimeter okay these are uh, the bar designations if you are uh, providing the bars uh, 13 millimeter but uh, you have to provide the high reinforcement area but you do not have 16 you can go for 19 means you can go for one gap of bar size similarly if you are providing 22 and you do not have 25 you can use 29 only you can skip only one gap okay When different diameters are selected, the maximum difference can be a gap of one size. Okay, you got it. Minimum number of parts must be at least two, one in each direction. Means in beam, you have to provide minimum two bars, one in one corner and one in another corner, minimum two. Third, always place steel bars symmetrically. Means symmetry uh, must be provided in providing the uh, steel reinforcement in beams fourth point preferably steel may be placed in a single layer but it is allowed to use two to three layers here you can use only one layer but if you have to provide the more number of bars you can use two and even three layers okay and for the gap between you have to provide 25 millimeter gap between two layers Selected sizes should be easily available in the market. That is very most important part. Uh, in your area, uh, area or your city, you have to visit the market that what bar size is available uh, in the market easily. Sometimes some bar sizes are not available easily. For example, 19 millimeter bar or 16 millimeter bar are sometimes are not present in the market. Six point. Uh, small diameter as far as possible uh, bars should be provided because they are easy to cut and bend and place means uh, their cutting and bending are easy for smaller dia bars and uh, cutting and bending are uh, one more point and their uh, price uh, given by steel fixtures uh, is also low for uh, smaller diameter bars ACI core requirements there must be minimum clearance between bars mean this bar and this bar there must be minimum clearance concrete must be able to flow through this reinforcement 
concrete must be able to flow through through these reinforcement when we cause concrete then concrete can easily move uh, around these parts so minimum gap must be there bond strength between concrete and steel must be fully developed if we have provided the proper gap so what about gap minimum spacing must be lesser of the following means lesser of the following three must be the uh, minimum spacing of these parts first nominal diameter of bar for example if you are providing number uh, three number 13 millimeter bar then one bar uh, diameter is 13 millimeter so that is the first preference if you are providing uh, three number uh, 20 millimeter bar so 20 millimeter is the nominal diameter of the bar second condition is 25 millimeter in beam 40 millimeter in column 1.33 times the maximum size of aggregate used for example your aggregate size is 20 millimeter then the spacing will be uh, 26 millimeter you will multiply uh, 20 millimeter aggregate aggregate size with 1.33 you will get 26 millimeter now the minimum of three will be the spacing okay so uh, you can also provide we can also give an additional margin of 5 millimeter for example if you are uh, have selected out of 3 25 millimeter then you can provide additional bar uh, margin of 5 millimeter say 30 millimeter here these are three requirements but still a minimum clear gap of 25 mm 25 millimeter is to be provided uh, between different layers of steel even even different two layers 25 millimeter should be provided the spacing between bars must not exceed a maximum value for crack width control usually applicable for slabs when we go for slabs then we will discuss that what are the maximum spacing of bars in uh, provided in the concrete what is detailing detailing uh, is uh, after de uh, designing the beam we have to sketch that section into the drawing so that we can uh, give this drawing to the contractor so uh, after getting the drawings contractor can cause the concrete and cause the members as per specification that is called detailing in the detailing we have to decide diameters of bars what diameter should be provided decide number of bars how many bars will come decide location of bent up and curtailment of bars making sketching of reinforcement this is called detailing concrete cover to reinforcement that is also very important uh, when we provide the reinforcement we also provide the concrete cover okay why we provide to prevent corrosion of steel if we uh, provide the cover then it will definitely protect the steel from corrosion to improve the bond strength definitely okay if uh, the concrete is uh, pr present uh, around the bars then definitely it uh, develops the strong bond between the steel and concrete to improve the fire rating of building uh, if you provide uh, higher thickness of cover then definitely your fire rating is good but for normal for 2R or 3R fire rating okay as uh, the minimum cover that will uh, cover the 2 to 3R fire rating to the building okay so that will also improve by providing the cover of concrete it reduces the wear of steel and attack of chemicals especially in factory area okay if the cover is not present then definitely the chemical present in the factories contaminate or attack the steel bars and our steel bar go, uh, go under rusting and the main uh, force scanning element of steel uh, weak its strength and ultimately ultimately the failure of the uh, member uh, will occur so that are very important cover concrete cover to reinforcement here are the minimum clear cover requirements as per aci code okay concrete permanently exposed to earth for example for bound, for foundations you have to provide 75 millimeter cover concrete occasionally exposed to earth or weather where rainy etc for number 19 to number 57 50 millimeter for number 16 and uh, smaller bars 40 millimeter for sheltered concrete uh, the concrete uh, normally in the plazas residential buildings for slabs and walls uh, that should be 
20 millimeter for beams and columns 40 millimeter these all uh, 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 minimum cover you should re, uh, keep in your mind because these are very important number of bars in a single layer how many number of bars we can provide in a single layer okay that we can also uh, um, just by uh, our, our observation our ex, uh, experience we got this observation we do not need this formula for every time uh, what this formula I will show means number of bars in a single layer how many number of bars we can provide in a single layer okay this formula should be rounded uh, to lower whole number okay BW in this formula is the width of the web of beam for example beam uh, with width 30 300 millimeter if the width of the beam okay beam here is the width of web of beam here is the rectangular section this uh, bottom end that is the web of the beam if there is a t section then the web uh, web width of the web of beam that will be bottom part for, uh, for example beam with uh, width of 300 millimeter number of bars in a single layer will be equal to 0 0.02 into 300 minus 1.4 the answer is 4.6 we have to round it to lower number 4 it means in the single layer we can provide number of parts 4 so that's how formula is used next this is an example a singly reinforced rectangular beam has a width of 2 to 8 millimeter an effective depth of 450 millimeter FC prime 17.25 megapascal and FY 420 megapascal. Calculate flexural capacity for the following three cases. Mean for the following three cases, we have to calculate the flexural capacity. Mean moment capacity. First, two number 25 bars, SI size, three number 25 plus two number 15 bars, and capacity for balance steel. Okay, three conditions. So that's all for today lecture. In the next lecture, I will solve these examples. Uh, solve this uh, this example with three uh, sections. So have a nice day.